Hello, everybody. It's Aaron. Welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast. It's Direwolf 20. We're still in the Primus server. And I got back today from Thanksgiving holiday, I guess you could call it. I was I was in the mountains for four days with no computer or anything. It was wonderful. I get back here, I have no idea <laughs> what I need to do. So I set up a really big ender quarry the other day. It's still going. And I may need to turn down the power. I gave it an extra little kick. Uh, what I've done over here, I made the center of this thing, I made the roof grass so that I can plant botania flowers on it. I have a little um, jaded amaranthus down here to grow other botania flowers so we can dye our ME cable because we're going to need different colors. So I'm not sure if I'm going to make a drum of the wild or just use my horn, but either way I can put a mana spreader up here, shoot it down at the pool. And I have run out of day blooms. They're all over there, but I've got some, uh, I think it's endo flames. You could feed a charcoal or whatever. So I can do that manually. Not a big deal. That doesn't use that much mana. Uh, so this is what I've done. I did the inside. Uh, it's kind of plain, I guess. I don't know. This is what it is. I went and gathered a bunch of pneumatocraft seeds because I want to start working with that. I want to start playing with the drones. So the only experience I have with that mod is from Crash Landing, which was ridiculously tedious. And I didn't get that far into it before I died. So we'll have to start that one from the get go. Before I left, I set up, in addition to the ender quarry, I set up uh, all the cobblestone stuff to make uh, octuple compressed cobblestone. We can make one right now. I don't know if I want to spend those ingots on a drum or a watering can. I'll have to figure that out. I also threw a couple of witch spawners over here on top of some cursed earth. And I got about 10,000 glowstone in two days or so. It works really well. So we're going to be set for glowstone as soon as the nether quarry finishes, I keep looking in the direction of it. I'm going to run it in the nether. Hopefully I will have made the fortune three upgrade so that we can get as much nether quartz as possible because we're going to need that. So let me disconnect that. And I want a bunch of wither skeleton heads. They're such a pain to hunt down. We could auto spawn them. But there's another thing from Ender.io called a powered spawner. And it's kind of a process. So let's hope I remember how to do it. I've only done it once on stream last week. And I had some viewers telling me what I needed to do. So let's get into this. We need to make this thing. I just so happen to have three fused quartz left over. So there's that, and I just trapped one of the nether skeleton guys in a safari net. So if we let him out, and then put him in this thing, see now it says soul vial. And I moved the slice and spice over here for the time being. And what I did was, since I'm not ready to set up all the machines yet, I ran some uh, energy conduit down here to hook up the slice and spice and one or maybe two other machines we're going to need today. Uh, let's see what they are. We're going to need a soul binder, I believe. So I've already made the machine chassis and I've still got some solarium in there. Those heads are not interchangeable. You actually need those specific heads in that configuration. So we'll get one of those. We're gonna grab one of these broken zombie spawners. And I'm pretty sure what we can do is if we hook this up. If we put the spawner in here with this, 
and we have to use our own XP for this. It takes a little while to do. I believe it'll reprogram the spawner we put here from zombie to nether skeleton. And then I think what we can do after that, let me find a broken spawner over here. I think we need to do whatever it takes to make it a powered spawner. So I think we actually have to craft one of these and then put it back in the soul binder with the spawner that we're going to get out of here. And then that'll make it a powered spawner, which just runs on RF. It takes a ton of RF. It does not take uh, mob juice or anything like that. So I figured we'd give it a shot. It's going to be slow, but not a big deal. Uh, it'll just run while I'm offline. We'll probably make an autonomous activator for Reaganomics here. And I think we may be able to put another beheading modifier on it. I may have another star somewhere. I don't have one over here. If not, I've got a few skulls so I can fight a wither. I may need to make some witherproof blocks just to be on the safe side because I don't want them wrecking everything. But let's go ahead and make our powered spawner while that other thing is working. Oh, we have to make this thing in the slice and spice. I think I put all my silicon in here to get turned into turned into stuff. So I did set up a, just a regular export bus so that the ores would process while the quarry was running because I didn't want to come back and have like, you know, 10,000 however many whatever kind of ore. All right, so that'll be good enough. We'll turn this back to furnace only. And I think we needed a solarium, redstone, and a zombie head. And by the way, I just now filled up this storage cell with types when I threw all the, um, the heads and the solarium and stuff in there. Before that, they were, they were pretty full. But they had uh, a ways to go, so we probably could have gotten by with 264Ks to start since we use deep storage units. So let's see how this goes. It won't let me, uh, <laughs> won't let me put it in there. Oh, it goes up top. It won't let you put it where it doesn't go. And let me get the redstone. And I think I'm forgetting. No, I got everything. So that is not going to take quite as long as this does. Just like any other Ender IO machine, you can speed these up with capacitors. I haven't made any because... These aren't machines I'm going to use very often, so I really wasn't that worried about it. So let's make this guy. Oh, I got to make these two. And we'll put our Z logic controller in there. Then we get our powered spawner. Hopefully I'm doing this the right way. If not... So this just says skeleton. I wonder if I have to put this in the nether to make it work. If I do, that's bad. Combined with a broken spawner. Oh, we just have to have an anvil. I think I have an anvil somewhere. Maybe. Any and whoa. Any anvils around here? Okay, lag. This is getting a little ridiculous. Uh, me. Oh my gosh.
All right. Anyway, maybe I don't have an anvil. I made the enchantment table. Not a big deal. We'll go back over. And hopefully we don't have a repeat of the teleportation lag we just did. So I know it's bad. I don't remember how to make an anvil. I know we need iron blocks. Like three of them. I just don't remember the exact configuration of the anvil. All right, easy enough. We'll put it right here for the moment. Powered spawner skeleton. So I'm not hopeful. I figure if we give this thing power, it will not make a wither or nether skeleton, whatever. So let's just put it right here. Yeah. So this is going to have to go in the nether. Let that be a lesson to you. If you don't want to cheat with MFR, you're going to have to put this in the nether. So I don't believe I have another Tesseract except for the one that's hooked up to the machines over here. And since I need to move them anyway, we'll just go ahead and grab it. And then we'll go to the nether. We'll make sure we have a cleaver. And we'll see what happens. Alright, I got a really bad nether spawn. I'm going to nether quarry all of this. I, I don't know if it will take out the obsidian and replace it with dirt and invalidate the portal. I figure it's probably a pretty safe bet that it will. So let's just do this in my already nether quarried area over here. We'll just put this right here. It's still got a little bit of power. Now we get both kinds of skeletons. Which honestly is kind of a pain. Since I don't have any ranged weapons. Typically I don't even carry them. So let's scrape away some of this dirt. I'm not sure if this spawner spawns like vanilla ones, two blocks above it, or however that works, so I don't want to prohibit it. But as you can see, is this thing even on? Redstone. Energy, receive only. I guess I don't have any spare energy right now. It is because I unhooked the other um, the other conduit that was supplementing it. Let me go hook that up. I'll meet you guys back here. All right, so it is working again. I'm not a big fan of the regular skeletons that are spawning here. But we get the wither skeleton, guys. If you have flight, they're really not that tough. And we already got five skulls. So this actually is working a little faster than I thought it would. But, I mean, it's better than hunting wither skeletons in the fortress. Okay, so that really didn't work how I planned. I was hoping that I could just set that in the base like the witch spawner. But what we'll have to do is probably 
set it up here in the nether at some point and I'm not prepared to do that right this minute. So what I will do most likely, I will set something up and then I'll just show you guys it's going to be a very basic sort of setup involving some of the um, conveyor belts from Extra Utilities. Since I found all of those, those rails, these are really cheap if you don't have to craft the rails since the railcraft changed the recipe. So I'll just make an autonomous activator or something and put a sword in there and I mean I might go over there and monitor it kind of AFK style not that big of a deal to me but that is how you make a powered spawner if I just wanted to do skeletons we could do them here in the overworld those are mostly useless to me at this point since I don't really need bone meal for anything so, unfortunately, this was sort of a bust. We can still use it, though. I gotta say, I may just set up um, Mine Factory Reloaded over here. Figure out how to do the mob essence anyway. Uh, so, that's all I wanted to do today, guys. I've got to get a lot of stuff together around the base here. I don't even know where I need to start. I guess I need to move all the machines. I need to shear some sheep and get some wool. I've been breeding them, but I haven't been shearing them, which is kind of stupid. But, you know, it happens. And I have been playing around with bees a little. Uh, what I'm doing right now, I'm turning one of these rocky princesses into a common princess because I need more of them. And you can do this very easily without apiarus pipes. I just use regular conduits. There's no filters. All it does is when they're on, it pulls the bees out, sticks whatever it can back in, and then the excess goes into the chest here, which is why I have all these junk bees and combs and stuff like that. So I mainly use that for uh, when I'm trying to just get a stack of like uh, common drones or whatever, when I'm not trying to like crossbreed, I'll just put in a princess and a drone and just let them go and go and go till I get about a stack. And I'll take the stack and put it in here with like a rocky and just let that go and go and go until eventually this rocky will turn into the common. So if you put in a stack, or I like to do a half a stack, it's easier. You put in a half a stack and then you just let it go. And then when you come back a little later, uh, once your number is above 32, you know that um, all the drones are stacking and they're now pure. So that's all I'll probably go into bees unless anybody specifically asks because in my experience, people don't really like the bees all that much. I've also got quite a cow farm going on over here. <laughs> so I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, please leave them down below. Also, these guys, Fallen Knights, Ender Zoo. I don't even know what's happening here. I want to ride the horse, though. I think it just kicked me. I want the zombie horse. All right, well, that's not going to happen. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.